All right, Alex. Here's my inum. It's been broken a million times. I'll just give you a real close up. I use this extension like, cord so I can use conventional batteries. I get those at Hobby King. They're fairly cheap. I get like a pack of 10 for maybe a buck or two. I have a little piece of Velcro on top and then I have a piece of clear tape that I just, regular scotch tape. Just put two pieces so it's not sticky on the bottom. And just leave a little bit exposed. You can stick it down, then you can put your 1S packs up here. I've had to glue this stuff all together a million times. Also took an extended with tape. And then I just cut this back so the wing has a little bit more surface area. It acts like flaps. Back here, at one point I had extended the rudder to be a little bit bigger. That helped a little bit with the yaw authority and roll authority. And then this, I wanted to stop the foam from hitting. So I took and just, uh, I think that's a twisty tie actually. I just took and stuck that in there and used some CA to glue it. Now the landing gear is the part you asked about. I'm going to try to give you as close up a shot as I can. So basically what's going on here, I will make it focus, don't worry. What we've got here is a very small piece of wire that I ran between the two. I took and heated it up with a lighter and I just slipped it through the plastic. I didn't I hadn't lost the wheel. I had the wheels, but the little piece it shot through broke off. So I ran that all the way across, and I used heat shrink to act as the keepers. Once I got it all assembled, I used a little bit of hot glue to keep them from slipping off. And the heat shrink allows the wheels to still spin free. And I just did everything really light, as light as I could do it. You could do these little bulges of glue. You could do that with CA. Instead of using hot glue, it would be a lot lighter. Trying to get you a really close shot, but it's just not wanting to focus for me. There you go. You can see they just gosh, it's so light. They spin free though. Now, obviously, you don't you don't have to have the landing gear that are spin free, but I like to take off and land from the wheels, and I'll take off and land from my island in the kitchen. I really have a good time with it. It's fun. I don't fly this thing very often. I just fly it when it's really when I'm really desperate to fly. And it's been crappy weather for a long time. Um, but you can see this big crease in the wing. I broke this wing off like the first day I had it. You can see I broke it there. And uh, this is actually sustained tons of beatings. I mean, it's like routinely crashed almost every time I fly it. I cannot say the same for every plane I have. So really, it's been a pretty good, reliable plane. It's amazing how reliable it is, given the nature of its existence. And I'll take this battery lead, and then I can put a 1S up there, a little 1S, 130 milliamps. Or if I want to fly it outside, I'll take a bigger pack and stick it in here like a 300 milliamp. And then it flies really quick. It'll fly better. It just uh, has to fly a little faster. But yeah, it's a fun little thing. So hopefully that gets you that gets you the understanding you're needing, so you can duplicate that. So Alex Herrera, I hope this answers your question. Leave me questions in the comments if you have any.